Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem واعتسموا بحبل الله جميعا ولا تفرقوا الله سبحانه وتعالى says and hold on to you all hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide and something that came to my mind in reflecting upon this ayat and as we've mentioned countless times that Hablillah, the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the Salaf used to say with their various statements about the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, used to say it meant the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet. And of course, it's very clear. And do not divide. That's clear that we need to be on Kitabillah wa Sunnah to Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from those people who are shooting over there. I mean, you know, I mean. But another aspect of adhering to the hablillah, to the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah for us as individuals. Aside from as the jama'ah, as being a part of Ahl Sunnah and adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah and the methodology of the Salaf of this Ummah, another aspect of that is that we practice. Adhering to the rope of Allah. The way we adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah is that we practice, is that we propagate that. is that we understand all of those things, all of those aspects are by related to our creed, related to our methodology of understanding of Islam, and our practice from our manners and the way we interact with one another. All of those things Meaning that they come from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. And that practice and implementation in our own lives and that we refer back to the sources in the religion for understanding and guidance is what's, requ is what's required of us and can be much more difficult than simply a statement of the tongue. And that's why the ulama of Ahl Sunnah refer to Iman as the statements of the tongue, the actions of the heart, and the actions of your limbs. Meaning that our Iman, our faith in Islam, is composed of all those three components that we have to believe in our heart and all of those actions of worship. That, were, that come from the heart, those actions, those, those that ibadat, from, for example, having taqwa Allah taqwa, you know, God consciousness or, or fearfulness, uh, khashya, the fear, uh, khushur, you know, that humility, and tawakkul, and that you strictly trust and rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all of those are actions that come from the heart, that it would be next to impossible for someone to make an accurate, completely accurate judgment of us because those are actions of the heart. Those are things which no one can judge necessarily based upon our actions. Our actions can be an indication. And of course, as human beings, we're going to make judgments and we should make judgments. 
But those actions, the, the full measurement of those actions, they, since they are contained in the heart, those are actions of the heart, we're unable to accurately assess those things. That those things are between us and between our, our Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second component of Iman is that which is the action of the tongue, meaning those statements of our tongue, that which we say, you know, uttering the testimony of faith, the shahada, and saying a statement of good, you know, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on our tongues, making dhikr. And all those actions of righteousness which are upon our tongues, those are, that's the second component of Iman. And the third component of our faith, or of Iman, is that which is by the the actions we mentioned the tongue and we mentioned those actions of the heart and the actions of our limbs of course for example walking to the masjid removing a harm from the road Greeting someone outwardly. Your prayer combines all of those actions. Making the pilgrimage. You know, those outward deeds are also comprised of our Iman, our faith. And that's why Ahlul Sunnah affirms those three components as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed them and as the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirmed them that those things make up our iman, our faith. So when it comes to us adhering to the rope of Allah meaning adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah that we have to actualize that with all the aspects of our iman meaning we understand our creed from the Quran and the Sunnah. We understand our, we practice our minhaj, our minhaj and da'wah, our methodology comes from the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And likewise, our actions, our statements, that all of those things come from the Quran and the Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm nafiya wa rizqan tayyibah wa amalin muttaqabbilin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.